Southeast Georgia and the Low Country. This is WJCL 22 Morning News. See us now. Vice President Kamala Harris and her running mate Tim Walls are getting ready for a jam-packed day here in Savannah. The plans for today's rally and the security in place to keep attendees safe. And a sheriff showdown, a longtime Chatham County incumbent facing off against a new challenger this November, despite growing health concerns. We have an exclusive interview with one of the candidates. And a fishing derby offering fun for a good cause. Find out how you can take your kids angling to help other kids in need. It is six o'clock on this Thursday and we are starting it in Savannah out at Victory Drive in Skidaway Road. A few people moving through the intersection there. And we want to thank you so much for starting your day with us right here on WJCL 22. Good morning. I'm Emma Hamilton. And I'm Frank Sokowski, meteorologist Jonathan Myers joining us now. And Jonathan, we're getting closer to the weekend. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the weather stays nice for us. And it's a long weekend too, yeah. Frank, yeah. with Labor Day on Monday. And it's uh, looking pretty good. Is that hot temperatures will continue. We're still in summer. Summertime, and it's going to feel like again today made it up 94 for a lot of us yesterday. We'll see more mid 90s again out the door for school patchy fog. That is about the one impact we'll see this morning mid 70s and that feels like temperature probably triple digit for a lot of us today around at least 100 sunglasses needed. Then as we go into the evening after work, we'll see warm temperatures into the mid 80s and no rain as we start things off this morning. It is nice and dry and that hot weather will continue not only today, but also as we go into the weekend I really don't anticipate much rain rain either uh, throughout most of the holiday weekend, not until probably Labor Day before we see those chances for storms going up. I will detail that and also track in the tropics could see some tropical development as we go into the weekend or early next week. I'll detail that for you in less than 10 minutes. All right, thanks so much, Jonathan. Vice President Kamala Harris already making rounds in our area leading up to her rally scheduled for uh, later today here in Savannah. WJCL 22 News' Kyra Naveau is joining us live from outside of the End Market Arena. And Kai, we're expecting to see a bit, pretty big crowd out there today. Well, Frank and Emma, so absolutely, Vice President Kamala Harris is here in the Houston City as the Democratic candidate for the upcoming presidential election. And like you mentioned, she's going to be here today at the In Market Arena speaking with a handful of voters who are hearing, want to hear what she has to say. Now, she's going to give her remarks later on today at 5 p.m. here at the In Market Arena alongside many Democratic officials here in Georgia and also Savannah. I'm talking Edna Jackson, uh, Savannah Mayor Van Johnson, and the list goes on. So the rally is an opportunity for Harris to continue to build momentum for the upcoming election against former President Donald Trump and many have an opinion about her visit here to Georgia. For her to, to divest herself of her glory to come and meet and greet people and be sincere I mean it's a whole new world now. Well you could just look back at your life when you want to think about how would it be with Donald Trump in office you know you can actually harken back to four years of you know, trade agreements with China, with Mexico, with Canada. You can look at manufacturing coming back to this country. So doors for today's rally will open at 1 p.m. today. The Harris Waltz campaign is telling attendees that they will be screened by the U.S. Secret Service before entering the in-market arena. Now, the items on your screen are prohibited and will be taken upon entry. Those include liquids, reusable water bottles, large bags, outside posters, umbrellas, or anything the Secret Service may deem as dangerous. And WJCL 22 News will have live team coverage inside and outside of the in-market arena. We'll be sure to issue the latest on air and online. Frank. Emma. Hey, Kai, we appreciate you. Thanks so much. Well, right now, Team Trump, they're reminding voters of Harris's record after nearly four years with the Biden administration. All the promises that she's trying to make, you know, on day one, she is the ability to do right now. She's in the office right now, and I want a lot of voters to remember what three and a half years of the Biden and Harris administration has looked like versus the four years under President Trump. While Harris and her team tour Southeast Georgia, former President Trump, he's rallying out in Wisconsin. That's where Republican vice presidential candidate and Senator J.D. Vance campaigned yesterday. He spoke about Harris's stance on different policies and how recently Vance has, says Harris has agreed with Trump on many issues. Kamala Harris now pretends that she agrees with me on everything. Now, <laughs> You, you, you trust, or if you watch what Kamala Harris is saying, she actually says now that she pretty much agrees with Donald Trump on everything. 
Former President Trump visiting Wisconsin and Michigan. He's scheduled to hold an event out in Wisconsin lacrosse later tonight. Meanwhile, the race to become Chatham County's next sheriff is heating up. WJCL 22 News' Andy Cole sat down for an exclusive interview with Richard Coleman, the Democrat who is running to unseat current sheriff John Wilcher. It's not a one city problem, you know, uh, essentially what affects one of us affects of all, us all, right? And so uh, we, we got to attack crime uh, from the sheriff's office. Democrat Richard Coleman is working to unseat two-term sheriff John Wilcher. He says he's focused on three keys to winning, fighting crime, enhancing jail conditions, and improving staffing at the sheriff's office. If you see the train coming and you stay on the track, if you get hit, that's kind of your fault, right? So I prepare, you know, right now I've recruited 240 people who are ready to come to work. Um, all may not pass that check, but uh, you know the numbers that we're looking for should 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 fit the, fit the bill. With 32 years of law enforcement experience, Coleman says he's got the skills to do the job. He's been a police chief, assistant chief, and currently works for Brooklyn Police. When you have a lack of manpower, you it kind of generally causes a lack of oversight. You know, being a chief of police, a police executive, I understand what it means to have a full staff or to have. Uh, 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 a certain amount as close to a full staff as, as you can. Coleman's opponent, John Wilcher, has been in the hospital for the last two months, recovering from what the sheriff's office calls a cardiac event. 80-year-old Wilcher was released last week and initially agreed to do a phone interview with us, but later canceled, citing his recovery. I have a father that's a senior who also suffered uh, heart conditions, and so my prayers are just for Sheriff Welter as well as his family, and I'm encouraging every citizen of Tatum County to just can pray, pray that he continues to get better. And, uh, you know, overall, humanity rides, overrides everything. Still, I asked Coleman if he felt Wilcher's age impacted the campaign. I've heard it from the constituents. You hear it a lot. In fact, you hear it every day. Uh, personally, it's not a concern of mine. I just want people to vote on me because of the issues that I stand for, you know, not because of the condition or the the age of, uh, of our current share. With a little more than two months to go before Chatham County heads to the ballot box, Coleman says he's ready to put in the work. Well, we're going to act like we're a thousand miles behind, but we're going to get out every day until election day and get that vote and to secure our victory in November. I'm Andy Cole, WJCL 22 News. Incoming Sheriff John Wilcher had initially agreed to an interview with WJCL 22 last week, but has since canceled. Well, casting a line with kids in the hopes of making memories and helping other children in need. A little over a week away from the third annual Ailey Anglers Kids Fishing Derby. The free event open to kids 16 and under is once again going to be held at Creek Fire RV Resort out on Fort Argyle Road. There's going to be fishing, food, fun and raffles with proceeds helping the Ailey Anglers help Shriners hospitals in our region. It's definitely uh, one of the most enjoyable parts of what we do. Um, you know, just going there with our families and helping the kids of our friends who go out there with us and then having all those other kids around us, you know, it makes us know why we're out there. The Fish and Derby is set for Saturday, September 7th for registration information. And for more, you can head over to our website, WJCL.com. Well, this weekend, the first full weekend of the college football season, and boy, oh boy, are there some big matchups, including Georgia and Clemson. They're set to face off at Mercedes-Benz Stadium Saturday. The Tigers and Dogs are going to kick things off at noon Saturday, and that game can be seen right here on WJCL 22. Now, before that game, you can tune in to WJCL 22 Sports Special Countdown to Kickoff. We're giving you a look at all things college football around Georgia and South Carolina. That's Saturday at 1130. Traffic track 22. We do have one accident to pass along. This is Highway 21 at Goshen Road. Maybe a little backup through that spot. Not seeing a big issue there. That should clear here very soon. And just those normal slowdowns as we start the morning. No accidents in the low country. Also around Savannah. No accidents at this time. Frank.